Hedge fund fee structures are usually expressed with two components. The first is the management fees and the second is the incentive fee. For example, the fee structure of a hedge fund could be 2 and 20. So 2 here refers to the management fee and 20 refers to the incentive fees in percentage. For the management fees, it can be calculated as a percentage of the beginning market value or the beginning AUM of the fund, or it can be calculated as a percentage of ending market value. For incentive fees, it can be computed as a percentage of gains calculated independently of management fees, or it can be computed net of management fees, or it can be computed as a percentage of gain in excess of uh, the hurdle rate. So in this case, we call this a hard hurdle rate. The incentive fee can also be a percentage of gain, okay, if the gain is greater than the soft hurdle rate. In that case, the incentive fee will be computed based on the percentage of that entire gain. Now let's look at the first scenario. The beginning market value of Sandvest Capital is $800 million. The fee structure is 2 and 20, where the management fee is 2% based on year-end AUM and incentive fee is 20% of returns calculated independently of management fee. So Sandvest met 40% for the year and calculate the investor's effective return for the year. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to calculate the total fees, which is the management fee plus the incentive fee, and then we'll deduct that from the return that uh, the hedge fund made for the year. So let's calculate first of all the gain or the profit. So that would be 40% based on the initial market value or beginning market value. So multiply that by 800 million. So that gives us $320 million. The ending market value, so that would be the ending market value, will be the beginning market value of 800 million plus the gain for the year. So that will give us 1,120 million. And we will use this number to compute the management fee since the 2% is based on year-end AUM. Okay, if it says big, uh, beginning of the year AUM, then we would have used 800. So in this case, the management fee will be equals to 2% multiplied by 1,120 million. So that gives us $22.4 million for management fee for the year. And for incentive fee, so that would be 20% of return. Okay, so the return here would be $320 million that we computed earlier. Or you can also take the ending market value, 1,120 minus 800. That works as well. Okay, so we'll just take 320 um, in this case. So that would be uh, 320 million. So that gives us $64 million in incentive fees. So take note that this is independently of management fees. So this is just the return and we don't minus the management fees. So if you add up 22.4 million and 64 million, that will give us $86.4 million in total fees for the year. So the effective return for the investor will be the return okay which is 320 million then we will minus the total fees uh, 86.4 million that's the net return okay and then we divide by the initial market value or the beginning market value which is 800 million and then of course we multiply by 100 percent so we will get 29.2 percent so from 40 percent for the year the investor is only left with 29 point 2% after fees. For scenario 2, all the details are the same as scenario 1, except that the incentive fees is now 20% of returns and calculated net of management fees. And we are asked to calculate the investor's effective return again. So as, uh, for, as the same for scenario 1, okay, the gains uh, as we computed earlier is 320 million. Okay, the market value at the end of the year, this is the ending uh, AUM value. 
So that's our 1,120 million. Uh, management fees, okay, is uh, still 22.4 million, which is 2% of uh, 1,120 million. So now coming to the incentive fee. So the incentive fee will be 20% multiplied by the gain, okay, which is 320 million minus, okay, the management fee, 22. 0.4 million. Okay, so take note that this is net of management fee. So that will be 59.52 million. So this is lower than what was what we computed in scenario one earlier. So in, in scenario one, the incentive fee is 64 million dollars, but now it's down to 59.52 million dollars. And if you add up the management fee and the incentive fee, the total fee is 81.92 million dollars. So what's the effective return? So the effective return is the total return for the year, 320 million. Then we minus the total fees, 81.92 million. And then we divide by the beginning market value, okay, 800 million. And then you multiply by 100%, that is 29.76%, okay? This is, of course, uh, higher than the return we calculated under scenario one. So under scenario one, the effective return is 29.2%. Okay, but here it's higher because we net off the management fees first before we compute the incentive fee. So effectively, the incentive fee would be lower. Now for scenario three, uh, same details as uh, scenario one and two. Okay, but for the incentive fee, it is 20% of returns in excess of the hurdle rate of 7% and net of management fee. So we have seen net of management fee in the previous scenario, but how do we handle this uh, in excess of the hurdle rate of 7%? So the 7% here will be based on the uh, market value at the beginning of the year, which is 800 million. So if you take 800 million, okay, you multiply uh, 800 million multiplied by 7%, so that gives us $56 million. Okay, so this is the hurdle for the fund to achieve before incentive fees can be paid. All right, so take note that for a hurdle, hard, this is a case of a hard hurdle rate. You have to multiply the hurdle rate to the beginning market value. Okay, then we will compare this against the, uh, the gain for the year and also net of the management fee. All right, so uh, the gain, same thing that we calculated previously is 320 million. Okay, the market value at the end of the year, this is uh, 1,120 million. Management fees, uh, same as before, is 22.4 million. Okay, now for the incentive fee, the incentive fee is 20%. Then we multiply by the gain, which is 320 million. Then we will minus the management fees. Okay, since this is required here, and then we minus the hurdle, which is uh, $56 million. Okay, so if it's still positive, then the incentive fee will be paid. All right, so how much is that? So if you compute that, you will get $48.32 million. So it's lower than scenario one and two, and the total fees added up together is $70.72 million. So the effective return now, will be the gain, which is 320 million, okay, minus the total fees, 70.72 million, divide by 800 million, times 100%, so that will give us 31.16%, right? So that's how you handle hard hurdle rate. For scenario four, the incentive fee is 20% of returns net of management fee with a soft hurdle rate of 7%. So earlier in scenario three, we saw the hard hurdle rate. So now we have a soft hurdle rate. So again, the gain for the year is 320 million and the market value at the end of the year is 1,120 million. Right, uh, management fees is 22.4 million. And now, uh, to, in order to get the incentive fee, we will of course have to uh, compute 
the hurdle. So early on, when you take 800 million times 7%, that gives you 56 million. So this is the hurdle, but we will use it differently this time for the soft hurdle. And uh, we will need to compare this 56 million against the uh, the return net of management fees, okay? The return net of management fees. So the return is 320 million and the management fees is 22.4 million. Okay, so we'll calculate that return net of management fees. All right, so that will be 320 million minus 22.4 million and that will be 297.6 million. Okay, so we will compare this return against the hurdle of 56 million. And since the return net of management fee is greater than the hurdle, therefore we will pay the incentive, okay, on the entire return. Okay, on the entire return. So the incentive fee here will be 20% multiplied by 297.6 million. So that will be 59.52 million, right? So the total fee would then be 22.4 plus 59.52 million. So that will be 81.92 million. And the effective return will be the gain, 320 million minus the total fee. Okay, and divide by the beginning market value, 800 million times 100%. So that will be 29.76%. Okay, so this is uh, the same amount that we computed in scenario two earlier. Okay, but now that there's just a check here, okay, to make sure that the net return is greater than the hurdle. Okay, if the, if the net return here is lower than the hurdle, then uh, no incentive fee will be paid. For scenario five, we are going to look at the high watermark. So let's say Sandvest Capital uh, has already been in existence for a few years. And now we are told that the market value of Sandvest is $865 million as of prior year end. In other words, for this current year period, okay, the beginning market value is $865 million. Okay, this is the beginning value for the year. The high watermark is $1,038 million. So somewhere in the, I mean, in the previous years, the highest value that the uh, fund has achieved is $1,038 million after deducting fees. Okay, this is the all-time high score. Okay, you can think of it this way. So the management fee is again 2% based on year-end AUM. Incentive fee is 20% of returns net of management fee. So let's say Sandvest made 30% for the year. Calculate the investor's effective return. So we will calculate the gain for the year. So that's 30% times uh, 865 million. So that is 259.5 million. So the market value at the end of the year will go up to 865 million plus 259.5 million. So that is $1,124.5 million. All right, and management fee is based on 2% of the year-end AUM. So that's $1,124.5 million. So that gives us $22.49 million. Now, what about incentive fee? Now, when you calculate incentive fee this time around, be careful. Don't directly take 259.5 million. Okay, because this 259.5 million is based on the year end value minus the beginning value. Okay, but for hedge funds, okay, there is always a high watermark which you have to be careful with. Okay, this high watermark tells us that in the last few years, okay, or in the uh, in the in the year where the fund achieved the highest value. That highest value is 1,038 million. And probably after that, the hedge fund uh, made losses and the value of the uh, fund dropped. So the fund is now, of course, uh, appreciating in value. So the incentive fee can only be paid if the value okay, of the fund has increased above the high watermark. So in this case, we have to compare. We'll take 20%. 
Then we multiply by the ending market value, okay, which is uh, 1,124.5 million. Then we'll compare this against the high water mark instead of comparing against the beginning market value. Okay, so this is the thing to wash out for. Right, and we of course have to net it off from management fees, okay, which is 22.49 million. Right, so with that, uh, your incentive fee is only 12.8 million dollars for the year okay because the gain is now lower okay as compared to what we did previously where we were minus against the beginning market value so it's not fair for the investors if they have to pay incentive fee again for the losses that the hedge fund managers made previously so for this uh, the total fees uh, will be 22.49 million plus 12.8 million so the total fee is $35.29 million. Now we are done. So let's calculate the effective return for the year. So the effective return for the year will be $259.5 million. Then we will minus the total fees, which is $35.29 million. Then we divide by the beginning market value. That is $865 million times 100%. So that gives us 25.92%. So take note that the high watermark will only be factored in when we compute the incentive fee, okay, and not when we calculate the effective return.